and that you know brings me to another complaint you know of of having to be online all the time uh, when there is a lag spike as there tends to be oh have I, have I encountered a special here um I don't exactly know what's happening. Oh, it's a hungry corpse? I swear it was an abomination. I'm thinking something else then. Oh shit, you're alive? Die. Don't know what that was. That caused whatever happened there. Uh, you saw the whole ground kind of shift, and I don't see anything that would have caused that. Never seen that before. I'm getting a lot of gold. I will use that eventually. Um, oh, and a healing well. Very nice. Gives you all your health back, even though I already have my health back because I'm getting lifesteal. God. <laughs> Lifesteal's so good. Uh, six killed with one shot. That is the beauty of cleave and just leaving cleave on all the time. And yes, I picked up quite a few things that I don't actually want. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going up and over here. Oh, shit. We got a knockback minion. Just done. Boom, boom. Ah, die. Okay, knockback in this game. It is a hell of a thing. You don't want knockback as a barbarian. Um, definitely not to start. Maybe you want that later on. I don't particularly like it because I like to just pound away and do damage. Stun is really what I want to do most of the time. Stun, you keep them close so I can heal myself by doing damage to them. That's pretty much my build. Uh, so knockback stops me from doing that. So I'm not a big fan of knockback. Especially, did you see how much it was? That was a ridiculous amount. He just went flying. Well, I went flying when I got hit. That's just how it works. Not a fan of that. Okay, so we're still in the Weeping Hollow. We might not find the Den of the Fallen again. Uh, that's just how this works uh, with the random generator. But if I do, I will go down it again. Uh, oh, nothing here. There you go, just a coffin. Short bow and quite a bit of gold. Grotesque, you must die. You are not so pretty, you grotesque thing, you. It, oh, skeleton. I was like, oh, are we going to get something good? There are special events that can actually spawn here. Little mini quests, I guess you could say. Uh, that... Nice. Level 7. So, as you can see, we're racking in the levels. A hammer of the Ancient's Rune. I will use that once I finish these guys off. Oh, and these guys, apparently. What is this? Chest. Let's open the chest. And then I will deal with it. Okay, nothing I want there. Actually, thick cloth pants maybe I want. Do I want those? I do. They are better than what I had. This. 7.5 plus, plus 5 life after each kill. Or damage converted to life. I think I want this one. Even though it's a little less damage. Actually, it's a lot less damage, isn't it? 14.71... It's not changing? Why is it not changing? Is it just based on this? Yeah, 10.23, 14.71, and then it doesn't change whether I do this or that? The hell? What if I do this? 11.56, but I get a ton of life. I will never die this way. And I think I like that more. Okay, skill. We did have a Rune for the Hammer of the Ancients. Unleash a shockwave from the point of impact. So I will be doing that because I already have the Hammer of the Ancients. Might as well power it up when I can. Hopefully we can do something with Cleave shortly. Um, but I don't know if that actually is next. I will never die using this setup. I almost guarantee it. <laughs> this setup will keep me pretty much at full health all the time, and that's why I chose it. Even though it's a little bit less damage, that is true. But, you know, we're, we're plus 5 to each, for each kill, like a little bit more than 1% heal back for all damage that I'm doing. 
At this level, I should not die. Well, I Alright, so we'll talk to Adric and tell him your apprentice didn't make it because he was stupid. What are you gonna do, though? Apprentices are so hard to come by. So hard to find good help these days. In the days of not the zombie apocalypse, but the hell apocalypse, I guess you could say. Still no, like, many dungeons here. You would think that I could have found a couple by now. God. <laughs> I'm so overpowered, even though I, you know, you've seen everything that I've done in the game. I still feel overpowered. That's just kind of how the game works. You just start to feel a little bit overpowered compared to everything else. That will change. That will change as we go through. I do know that I have had a, a lot easier of a time going through normal mode on a barbarian than other people have. I did have to help somebody uh, with a, a couple bosses. Uh, they were playing as a demon hunter, and apparently that was not good for, for the big boss fights. Uh, being a barbarian is very good for the big boss fights, because like I said, they can be stunned. At least on normal mode, they can be stunned. I assume that as you keep going, that stops working. But for now, I'll be stunning every boss that we come across, more or less. Ugh. But... Maybe maybe Barbarian is easy, I do know, and this is another one of the complaints that I will say I agree with, and that is that there is no uh, multiplayer. Uh, there, there, is speak, there is word that they're going to implement duels, which means that the arena that I played at BlizzCon is not going to exist, and that does disappoint me. Although, to be honest, I was not getting into this game for multiplayer. I am sad that it is not happening. Let's get us a hood. I did not have hood before, so it's automatically equipped. That's just a dead body. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. I, I should never have to worry about healing or anything again. And I love that. Or at least with this setup. Until I can find something that absolutely destroys what I have in damage, then I'll start having to he help heal every once in a while again, but for now, I am good for anything that comes my way. <laughs> I'm not saying I can take on the end of the first act boss, but but uh, I could try it. <laughs> I could try it. We'll find quite a few things that, that prove me wrong, though. And I shouldn't try it. And here we do, yeah, I was about to say, this should be the end, it is. Here we find, I believe, an infinite spawner. Just constant spawner here. Um, but I should be able to deal with a, a lot of these guys. Pick up at least a few things here and there. Did not want to pick up the dagger, though. Didn't want to pick that up either, but eh, like I said, it just, it just happens. And here we finally reach the dead end to the Weeping Hollow. No fallen of the uh, den of the fallen. Sorry, uh, none of that. Even though there were fallen corpses in there, uh, there weren't any fallen in there. They're not. They are in this game, but we should not be encountering them yet. They are very difficult. Uh, fallen in this game are much more difficult than they were in uh, in Diablo 2. What do we got here? Empowered Shrine. Increased resource generation and reduced cooldown. Very nice. So this is a battle, a battle shrine. You can use that to. Well, it's good for battling, but I, I don't necessarily need it. I'm not using my fury as is. I'm just cleaving my way to victory, because that's all that I really need to do. And out these guys come. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I think the. I think this is an infinite spawner, so I will just run away from it now, even though I hear something else spawning. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever hung around there long enough to see if it actually was. I usually just ditch it. I'm like, oh, you guys just keep coming. Should you need to do level grinding, that could be the place for you, because it could be an infinite spawner. But 
If it isn't, then there's definitely a lot of enemies coming out of there, that's for sure. Hit the stone. God, I still... every. I'm so used to this game by, and being the barbarian that I don't even really notice everything just flying off screen. And every once in a while, one of the things flying will catch my eye and it'll make me giggle. I mean, look at that. Look at how far everything flies when I cleave. Things must... I don't know, fly 30 feet it looks like? Like, look, look, look at me following this. I hit that. Way over there. <laughs> Just absolutely ridiculous. I love it. And if you notice, there is a small screen shake that I also love when I cleave. I don't know if there was that during um, Bash there was it was it, it seemed either more minor or I didn't notice it uh, but this one you can see the whole screen shakes ever so slightly but it's just enough to make me feel like I'm making a huge impact here and I do thoroughly enjoy that all right riding coffin what's in the coffin this guy god cleave just so good so good Especially with lifesteal. The more damage I'm doing, the more I'm healing, the more... I don't know. Invincible? Not, not invincible, but invulnerable, maybe. I am. I do like that. The game is definitely easy at this point. That does change. I, can't pick up anything else. I don't have room. Hooray. So we have finally reached that point where I am out of room um, that does happen that's usually my when I go back to town because I don't have any room I know there's quite a few things in here I could get rid of um, let's see okay that can go they're low quality anyway and then the thick ones are yeah that's gonna be better than what I got but like I thought okay so most of this stuff was crap Blue stuff I did want to hold on to. I did not dump them in the stash like I sh probably should have, but that's okay. No dungeons in here this time. Also, this is not an infinite spawner. Interesting. Damaged shoes. I want nothing to do with those. Okay. Villager. And through here, into the Cemetery of the Forsaken. And here we find... I didn't see your name. Scat hack the brute. Not enough fury. Okay. I got scared. What the hell? You can't scare me off. I wasn't scared of you in the slightest, but they pretended I was. I don't like that. Gathering leather pants. That should be good. Oh, look how much of an upgrade that is. Plus it has magic on it. Huge upgrade. Okay, I want nothing to do with that. Uh, here we will find quite a few dungeons to go into. Uh, there, it's the Chancellor's Altar that we are looking for, where the crown is supposed to be. It is under one of these. I won't be finding that. Um, well, it will be under one of these. Yes. I won't be finding that just yet. Right now, what I'm doing is trying to kill all these guys. Stun, hammer, and he's gone. Uh, Tomb Guardians don't have a little, like, bestiary thing. you think they would, but they don't. Uh, they, they, I believe they are spawners, so you want to get rid of them. Just from what I remember, they spawn more skeletons. Here we can find two more things that we can find. Another fortune shrine that I should have gotten before I killed that guy, but how was I supposed to know? Are we going to find anything more to kill? We do. Oh, nice. Gravedigger's Log. When King Leo recaptured the court, he brought many nobles with him. And nobles, oddly enough, want noble crypts. So I showed up with my shovel, thinking to make easy profit by digging a few holes. Ah, there's no stopping their demands around here. Now, I eat, sleep, and breathe dirt, it seems. I guess he doesn't like his job. Okay, so, before we head into any of these two places, we have two defiled crypts. Let's just head back to New Tristram, because I am full on items, 
And now you could use the artisan, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Your apprentice is dead. Yes, he is dead. Poor boy. Hope for the worst, and you will not be disappointed. Thank you for the news. Artisan, let's craft. Okay, so with crafting, what you can do is you can give him the blue items, the magic items that he is not using. So salvage is what you want to do. Put it there. It destroys my object. It destroys the sash that I had, but it gives me a subtle essence. And that is what I do want out of this. So we'll get him. We'll occasionally get something a little better if it ever spawns. Chances are it probably won't. Oh, shit. That is a lot of damage. Um, what is this? 7.8 and 7.5 plus 5 to each kill. I don't know which one's better. I don't know which one's better. But God, that is so much more damage. Okay, we'll do it that way. And then, yeah, 1.2% of heal isn't that great right now, I guess, compared to plus 5 after each kill. Ah, uh, fine. I don't want to because I did like that setup a lot, but we'll, we'll do it that way. And then you can have everything that I have. There we go, a fallen tooth. Uh, a tooth of one of the fallen. Artisans through the ages have relied on rare materials to enhance and create powerful items. Uh, yeah. It... And another one. Very nice. I got two out of that. I need to sell everything else that I got and I can show you the point of doing that in just one second. Found some interesting things sell, on sell, day. sell. You should take a look. I'm not even really looking at this. If I sell something better than what I have, then I'm sorry. But, oh, shit. There we go. That's no good. And then, don't forget about these. Oh, God. Minus 10 life. No, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Okay. After all of that is gone, we do have a little bit of money. Not too much, but a little bit. Now we can forge stuff with the blacksmith. We can, oh God, stuff that I couldn't. I, yeah, look, look at some of this. Uh, but you, they have random magic properties, and that is what I do want. Um, God, so, so a lot of this stuff I can't do anything with, even if I wanted to. So crafting materials, you don't get that yet. This I could make seven point one and two magic properties. I don't know if I want to try that. It costs... what does it cost? Six of my subtle essences. So I don't think I want that. I don't think it's going to be good for what I'm doing. Uh, Stiletto, I can't do anything. Most of the stuff I can't do anything with. Fist weapon, yeah, that's not even for me. Hand crossbows, obviously not for me. Ceremonial knife, bow, none of that's for me. Mace, I'm not a high enough level. Not high enough level. Once again, all this carries over from what I did before. Usually I have to level him up in order for him to show this stuff off. But, you know, I, what do you want me to say? It doesn't work. Bastard sword, that would be really good. Tomes, two-handed axe, I don't want anyway. Two-handed, two-handed. And a wand, which I couldn't use even if I wanted. So the only thing that I could really do right now would be the one-handed broad axe here. Uh, but I don't want to do that. This, So no weapons for me. Armor, though, I will require some armor. Um, don't have a high enough level for any of those. Do have enough high enough for that. And it's good enough for me to want. You can see here that... I have plus two magic properties, and it's double the defense that I have. So I do want that. I c they say that I could make two. I only want to make one. Here we go. Yes, better. A lot better. So now I have this instead. I can move faster. I have plus one strength. Bracers, I'm not high enough level. Chest armor, I am a high enough level. And this is what I want. That requires all the rest of my... Uh, all the rest of my subtle essences, that's fine. Because it's going to be better than what I have. Guaranteed. Plus magic fine! That is also very nice. Uh, then we can... not repair. Salvage. This. 
and we can sell that. I have one cell of essence left. I'll put that in my stash, and that is going to do it as I continually get HP. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Diablo 3. From now on, I will be cutting out all these trips to the crafting. I'll just let you know if I get anything better. When we come back, I will head for the Chancellor's Altar beneath the Cemetery of the Forsaken. Luckily, there is a waypoint right to the cemetery, so I can just find those crypts. Defi I think they were defiled crypts. I can find those when I'm done. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts, though. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.